Donald Trump threatens to cut off all U.S. aid to Palestinians. The U.S. president said in a pair of tweets that his country pays the Palestinians hundreds of millions of dollars a year and gets no appreciation or respect. In reply, the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas's office said, Jerusalem is the eternal capital of the state of Palestine, and it is not for sale for gold or billions. U.S. funding for the Palestinians is $260 million per year, with an additional $50 million used to support Palestinian security services. It's a criminal um, uh, comment by, by Trump. I mean, it's cruel and, and um, compassionless and sadistic, and, and, uh, but that's what one has come to expect from him. And, uh, you know, he, he has pretty much given the green light uh, to Israel to do whatever they want. Since the UN vote condemning Trump's decision over Jerusalem al-Quds, U.S. officials have been considering various options for retaliating against the Palestinians. The options include cutting off some or all aid to the Palestinian Authority or to the UN agency that provides services to the Palestinians in places like Gaza, Jordan, and Lebanon. Trump's tweets are an admission that his recent decision has disrupted his administration's plans to resume the peace process between Israelis and Palestinians. I would say that Palestinian rights are not for sale and we will not succumb to blackmail. There are imperatives and requirements for peace. And unilaterally, President Trump has destroyed them. He has even sabotaged our efforts at achieving a just peace and getting freedom and dignity for the Palestinian people by recognizing occupied Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He has not only disqualified himself as a peace broker or a mediator by taking sides and by becoming complicit in Israel's occupation, he has also totally sabotaged, he has totally destroyed the very foundations of peace. Still, some argue that the whole peace process has been just a charade. Does anybody believe there, there, there is a peace process anymore? I doubt it. You know, no rational person thinks there's a, in quotation marks, a peace process. There isn't. Israel um, is carrying out an incremental genocide, essentially, and they plan to take all the land they want and expand as far as they feel they can and that's what they're going to do and um you know you see the treatment i mean you see the the sadism of of the idf they arrested a 14 year old boy the other day and i think it was erdogan in turkey even said this is a israel's a, a criminal state a terrorist state Donald Trump's latest move demonstrates the White House sees threats to foreign aid as a means of leverage. In fact, the U.S. president is treating the Middle East peace process like a Manhattan property deal that he can bully to the table. The fact that, that much of the Arab world, the Muslim world, um, is angrier than perhaps ever before about all of this uh, makes no difference to the people uh, running the U.S. government. That's clear. They don't care. They will let Israel do whatever it wants. You know, and Trump threatening to cut off this, this relatively small amount of money, really, when you think of a government like the U.S. that spends trillions on defense, um, and the money they send to Israel every year, which nobody ever questions, um, it's, just, it's just an insult to one's intelligence to take any of this stuff seriously. I mean, we know what's happening. Nothing's going to change. It hasn't changed for decades. It's not going to change. In a few weeks, Trump has pushed the Palestinian leadership into a position where it appears that they have almost nothing left to lose. In this case, Trump's ultimate deal will in fact be the ultimate destruction of the peace process and all that it entails.